My name is Shannon Morgan, and welcome to Bigfoot Encounters Narrated. This event occurred in September of 1980 in Valley County, Idaho. My best friend and I had a Bigfoot encounter back in the early 1980s. We were fishing outside of McCall, Idaho, and an upper mountain lake, and it started to get dark, so we decided to head back to the truck. As we got down the trail, a storm started to move in, and it became very dark and started to rain with high winds. Unfortunately, we did not bring a flashlight and got off the trail by accident. We were moving slowly through the very thick brush when we heard a noise ahead of us. Some sort of animal was stepping away, and we thought it might be a deer until it turned around and looked at us. It was so dark that night, and you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. But when this animal looked at us, its eyes were bright fluorescent green and illuminated like flashlights. We could tell we were in a large flat area, and these bright green eyes were taller than us, seven to eight feet off the ground. My friend and I had hunted for years together, and we both were very comfortable in the woods. But all of a sudden, we both got a bad feeling. We both felt very uncertain about what this animal actually was. We decided to go to our left as we knew a lake was not far away, and maybe we could get more light off the water to see, and that's when the animal started to follow us. When we reached the lake, there was a faint light coming off the water, but not enough to see up into the forest. The animal had followed us, but it stopped just outside the darkness of the trees, about 150 feet away at the top of a logging road. Bright illuminated green eyes was all you could see. We were young, confident, and very sure of ourselves as young men in our 20s, so we were embarrassed that this was scaring us. After discussing it, we decided to charge it. We explained to each other that when it runs from us, we will get a better understanding of what it was. So we grabbed some large branches as clubs, smashed them against a large boulder, and took off running up the logging road, yelling at it like you would have heard in battle. As we ran, we knew it would run sooner or later. We thought it wouldn't want to risk confrontation with two angry humans. We ran right up into the darkness of the forest, within 30 or 40 feet of it, and it didn't move a muscle. It just stood there, staring at us with those very bright green eyes. We suddenly were petrified, and we could feel its presence very close to us. At that point, we knew this was not a bear, mountain lion, elk, or any normal creature that we were familiar with. This was something new. It was not afraid of us at all. We were so terrified. We felt that if we turned our backs on it, it might attack us. So we dropped our clubs, held each other, promising not to run away, and slowly walked backwards. As we walked along the beach next to the water, it followed us back to the truck, staying just inside the edge of the darkness of the trees. When we finally reached the pickup, it had rained heavily and the truck was stuck in the mud. As we rocked the truck back and forth, we thought the creature was going to look in the windows or stand in front of it. So we didn't look out the windows. We finally got the truck unstuck and headed down the road back home. Both of us were so terrified. We didn't speak to anyone about it for several years, thinking no one would believe us. Here's where the story gets unbelievable. About 10 years later, when I felt comfortable talking about it, I told a friend of mine that had a ranch about five miles from where the encounter happened. As I told him this story, his eyes lit up. He seemed to believe every word I said. When I was finished, he then explained that the very same thing happened to his father in the same location 40 years earlier. His father and his uncle were checking trap lines in the mountains when they were young boys and got caught in a storm and it was very dark. As they got off the trail, they came across a very large log laying on the ground and decided to walk down it to get through some heavy brush. As they walked down the log together, just as they were going to climb down, the log lifted them both up in the air. They looked back, and a very large, black, hairy creature with very bright green eyes had stepped on the log behind them. They were so terrified, they dropped their traps and ran several miles back to the ranch, soaking wet and scared to death. Until that day, I couldn't believe what happened to my friend and I that dark fall evening. But when I heard my ranch friend tell me about his father's experience, I knew what happened to us was for real. If you have an encounter you'd like to share or have narrated, email me at bigfootencountersnarrated at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for listening.